of choices. My white truck's not running still. And, uh, well, that Mickey Mouse repair that I did the other day is still in place, so my only choice right now is just to pick up truck. And now the, the check engine light came on. Not sure what's going on there. Still seems to be running. Gotta keep pushing the dream. Looks that there. Get that off. It's interfering with the, the recording. Maybe we'll put that there. Heavy flames, no scrapping. Put me over in this pile right here, man. I hate that. There's all this like shit in the ground. I end up getting a flat tire. Look at that. Gnarly ass like roofing now. Little copper dream right there. Yard, so I'll throw you out of there for doing what I just did. Something that small. Don't get mad. <clears throat> no, no flames. No scrapping flames. <laughs> hey God. What's wrong with me? Piling up all the good stuff over there. I like that. That's, that's not bad, man. Looks like some kind of car park. This total gym thing, this is about the most workout this machine's probably ever seen in its life. Me trying to get it off of the truck. Holy moly, it is stuck. It has become... It's become one with all the rest of the scrap. Ugh, I can't believe it's embedded that much. Telling people I was already done. My daughter is so much better at Tetris game than I am. 
believe me. I mean, even though I packed this in pretty well, I got her trained so good. She actually does it better than I do. When she packs it in, stuff doesn't get stuff doesn't get entangled in these so Like the way I do it. This is not a place I want to spend my time, you know what I mean? <laughs> Christmas in the Christmas in July. You find that stuff year round now. Oh, it's all about 98 degrees right now, so I'm kind of moving slow. Drink plenty of water. I got a jug of water in there. The water got hot. The blazing sun was beating down on it. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Time to get down. How are these people going to move forward? Hey there. I'll make the rules. I'll do it for myself. I don't like being over here by the sh by the shredder. You can't get away with. Can't get away with motor, you know what I mean? Have some heavy plastic dreams there. You know what aggravates me is you got almost all white white guys working back here. And uh and they're not cool. <laughs> this is a real life scrap channel. <clears throat> they're not corruptible. Or if they are, I'm not able to pull it off. And this yard was filled with Latinos. You go pay them, you give them a, a tip. You know, a propina. La propina. You slip them on a 10 or a 20, depending on what you got. And you could bring in anything here as long as it wasn't concrete and rocks. And they would look like they were totally look the other way. That ain't happening. Unfortunately. 
unfortunately when the owner's son took over I think he figured that out I don't think he owns it, but he pretty much took over the day-to-day -day operation. I gotta move up again or something. It's empty in here and you gotta tie that strap back up. And, uh, yeah, they let you break shit here, but that's not for this dog. We've gone over that before. I ain't doing that. And out you way out. You. I mean, it gets a you. You. I had to leave the refrigerator on the truck because they didn't declare it. We got to declare the refrigerator. It don't weigh that much, so maybe 50 pounds. But yeah. $129 or 1,200 pounds. So, at 215 a ton. <clears throat> okay. I hope that helps support my argument of why I don't really prefer. I prefer not to use the pickup truck. Let's see. July 2nd, 129 bucks. It's not, it's not economical to do it this way. It took me about as much time as it would if I brought my box truck here because I had to get in my truck and move it twice so that I could, uh, you know, have room to stand my fat ass on the ground without getting hurt steel toe boots and no steel boots. Are you going to be wearing, you can be wearing like the, like the Polish guy, I forgot to show him, he's wearing sandals. The Polish and the Lithuanian guys, uh, and there's a Romanian guy, these guys are all from, you know, from Eastern Europe, they've only been here for a couple of years, <laughs> and they were they wear sandals. Oh, they're scrappy. I mean, I, I, hey, if you're careful and you know what you're doing, right? I mean, my, my shoes don't really offer a whole lot more protection than their sandals. They're just cloth and, I don't know, fake man-made material. I mean, they offer a little bit more protection. My feet don't get dirty or wet so easily, but if I was going to drop a hot water, hot water, if I was to, to drop a water heater on my foot, whether I'm wearing these shoes or uh, I'm a Polish guy wearing uh, sandals, <clears throat> I think the damage is going to be pretty much the same to my toe or whatever. So while I'm laughing at them, I'm not really laughing at them any more than I'm laughing at myself. But the sign in there says, must wear shoes or boots, no sandals. Must wear shoes, boots, and shirt. <clears throat> Nothing about gloves, but they want you wearing at least shoes, and they want you wearing a shirt. Well, there's guys in there without shirts on, and yeah, you know, Eastern European guys with sandals, and they don't say anything really. I should be wearing gloves. I do wear long pants though because I'm around scrap and man you know you get like little things like with little wire and you don't even feel it and then you look at your leg and you got cuts and stuff so not good. So I can't stress it enough I'm really hot but I'm trying to stress the point that <clears throat> 
taking the pickup truck all the way to the scrapyard is not really it, it really doesn't it doesn't pay okay it's $129 okay yeah I probably could have packed a little bit more in here but why it's gonna get me uh, like ten more dollars it's not worth it not worth getting hurt I mean I could when I'm picking up scrap you know off the curb yeah that tall sides come in handy <clears throat> I'm not gonna get pulled over by the police okay I'm not like some of these other guys that got the stuff like all tied up and uh, you know, ratchet straps. Man, I, I don't see how they're able to get away with that. <sighs> I guess that's enough yapping, okay? I hope people understand. <clears throat> Actually, what I need to do is rent a big 26-foot box truck maybe twice to, like, boost me up and get unstuck from the hole that I'm in. Because this is not going to do it. I do this like five, six, seven times a week. Maybe eight times with a pickup truck. I don't got time to do this. This took three hours. By the time I go home, three hours out of my life. For the garbage I picked up that already took me all kinds of time to pick up. And gas. And <clears throat> I swear to God... This thing only uses a few dollars less worth of fuel than the big truck. So what's the point? It's not economical. For me, it doesn't work. For other guys, it works. Okay? They have a different scrap and pallet, man. Lives like a few blocks from a scrapyard. Hey, if I lived in a house right there, <laughs> I would do things totally different. There wouldn't really be a, you know... A scrapping warehouse because there really wouldn't be a purpose for it. I mean, I would need a garage or something to work on the inside, you know, when the weather is bad or whatever, or, you know, to keep some of the keep life stuff, but <clears throat> I wouldn't need the operation that I have. I wouldn't need huge trucks. I wouldn't need all that, okay? If I lived in that house right there, okay, but that's some somebody owns that. I think it belongs to whoever owns that car repair shop and they rent it out. And <clears throat> I think they want like eighteen hundred dollars a month to rent that, and that's not where that's more that's more money than Hell's Half Acre. So that'll be a big no for me, dog. Because I ran the numbers already before I made the video and started yapping, and <clears throat> even though part of the economic model works, the more expensive the house the less I, it just doesn't work for somebody else that would work that would be perfect for me that would almost work but it doesn't work because it's a rental um, yeah me and rentals don't work out very well when it comes to renting housing I've been thrown out of too many all right see you in the next video bye